No snow in yeah. our forecast, right? No okay. snow. No snow. We had our fair share of wacky weather, wild weather yesterday. I think we are due for some quiet days. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like we'll have overall. Could be a little bit breezy out there, but warmer, much more spring like for us. Let's take a look outside right now. Check out our neighborhood network camera from Cape May. That's an absolutely gorgeous scene. I wouldn't uh, definitely uh, not mind being down there on the beach, even if it is. A little bit on the cool side with that breeze out there, but it's going to be no time at all before we are longing to be in the water right now. That ocean water right around 50 to maybe 55. So it's a little bit cool to be out there in the uh, in the uh, sand and in the waves. But overall, it's still a very nice picture with just a few high clouds out there in Cape May. And uh, if you are able to enjoy the shore today, even if it is a little bit cool, I hope that uh, you know you think of us that don't get to get down to the shore points later this afternoon. Storm scan three right now, not a whole lot going on locally. Again, we saw those few high clouds, lots of sunshine for us. But what we're keeping an eye on is this system that's off to our west. We see it's already bringing some cloud cover into central Pennsylvania and even a few light showers there towards Erie and also north central parts of the state. And as we kind of zoom out, you'll get an idea of what we're seeing more of a wide scale uh, picture. And what it is, is it's this area of low pressure. It's what we call a short wave or a weak disturbance that's working its way now through the Great Lakes. Some shower activity was in the Chicago area, extending itself all the way back into Iowa and Nebraska earlier this morning. But again, as it's moved eastward throughout the day, it's stayed to the north. And that's the pattern that's going to take place through the rest of our afternoon and really even through the overnight hours tonight. This area of low pressure skirts by to the north, but it does mean that a couple of light showers not totally ruled out for parts of the region as we head through the overnight hours either. So let's take a look at our future weather. Take a look at our temperatures as well through the next couple of hours. This is lunchtime still looking good. Even by the time we get to four o'clock, five o'clock that drive home, it's going to be dry. Still need the sunglasses for the drive home as well because you still see clear conditions for the most part. Maybe a few high clouds like we've been seeing now here through the first half of the day could extend themselves towards the afternoon and evening hours, but temperatures really very spring like very seasonable here. I've been up to 65 for our high temperature later this afternoon in Wilmington, looking at those lower 60s through the Lehigh Valley. As we get towards the early overnight, we'll stop things for you here at 10 o'clock, starting to see some of that precipitation work into the Poconos, maybe even a, a few areas of drizzle through the Lehigh Valley, Allentown, Redding, again, Mount Pocono, seeing that precipitation maybe as early as 10 o'clock. Most of the Philadelphia area and across South Jersey, Delaware, still looking dry even at 10 o'clock this evening. Once we go through the overnight hours, our uh, system, again, tries to work its way a little bit further south, but for the most part, the main area of precipitation stays to our north. So a few hit and miss showers not totally ruled out in Philly. I think South Jersey, Delaware stay totally dry tonight with, again, that best chance for a few showers this evening north of the city through the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. Waking up tomorrow morning, dry conditions, clouds for us for the most part, just looking at some 40s out there. So much very similar to uh, really what we had this morning, maybe a little bit of a breeze to go along with these temperatures that are pretty seasonable again tomorrow morning as well. And then as we go through the afternoon, hours on our Wednesday looking for a mix of sun and clouds, maybe a little bit more cloud cover than sunshine. Definitely not quite as sunny as what we'll be experiencing today, but temperatures still well up into the 50s and 60s. Again, a very seasonable day for us tomorrow. If you're heading down to the Phil's game tonight, it's going to be a 705 first pitch at Citizens Bank 62 sunny at the start, but it does stay windy at times throughout the entire game. So you do want to take the jacket with you as I said 64 for the high today, looking at more 60s tomorrow and Thursday with a couple of scattered rain shower chances throughout the middle of the week. Friday is going to be our best chance to see shower and thunderstorm activity this week with a high temperature all the way up to 75 on Friday and all that rain is associated with what could be a pretty potent cold front that works its way through. But uh, good news for us, it really doesn't do much to affect our weekend. A few scattered showers, though, back there Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures looking pretty comfortable, though, guys. Painful mm -hmm. showers, right? Definitely. <laughs> to say. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Well,